that we may not be able to give jobs to everybody. We may not be able to get an opportunity to have everybody to be employed. And that is why we decided to come up with the revolving fund so that we can interest youth, women and persons living with disability to try out entrepreneurship as one way of empowering them to make sure that they have a better life. We have allocated 120 million shillings for this financial year, 2016-2017. And by the way, we have to mafungu. So we'll have different faces. Tunatoa pesa, tukisha toa pesa, watu wanaanza kufanya biashara, wanaendelea as they go on. We are continuously receiving applications for the fund. Tukikupatia 50,000, utaturegeshia 50,000. Charge ambayo itakuwa ni kwa zile transactions za bank. Peki yake. The, the first phase, katika yu act, ambos jayona, imesema first phase itatoa pisa ngapi katika yu 120 million. Ndo tujue second phase itakuwa hivi. Ili tujue, tunakadiria vija, vikundi vingapi ama business ngapi ambos saidia katika first phase. We are targeting 10,000 groups by the end of the, the whole phase. The act does not uh, say that uh, you will give this amount of money in this phase and this one in this phase. It's a process about it. To evaluate the entire process so that in case there are any changes, then we go sit down with the board. To let any flyers are 40 people to be what YGS in Afanya, to be like a person with a summer flyers, to go to digital world, to get social media. A lot of institutions have shown a lot of interest. So it is our hope that with that 120 million, we'll be able to get support and backup from other financial institutions that have already um, approached us to want to help to support the fund. President, we have a group of youth who have been in the group of youth. We have a group of youth who have been in the 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 Ile tulikuwa youth hatukumaliza hata mwaka na paka kesho tutatafutwa. Mlikula. Tulikula. Tunasema pesa iko hapa na tunasema vijana ndio nimchukue pesa. Hali ya kuwa tumekosa kuelewa kwamba hawa vijana wenyewe hizo pesa wanazitaka but the idea is not there. There is no empowerment. Is there a provision kwa hiyo secretariat ile ukinieleza kuwa group yangu haikufaulu kuna hiyo nafasi ya kunieleza hapa ndio hukufaulu ama labda huwezi fit in kwa consolidated fund? But you can apply if and the project here will pick up because it's a, it's a good idea. Form I, I receive we come ahead to you and So we go through the form page by page plus the secretariat to guide you. The board will sit down and do an evaluation. To angalie, main challenges in Mekwagani. Form ni indefu, accessibility to the office, uh, maybe lack of um, knowledge and all. Then once we understand that those are the challenges, then we make a decision and say, okay, fine. Because these are the challenges, let us now change tact and go to the ground and do more sensitization and empower the youth and women and persons with disability. It is a collective responsibility. A social worker and the steering committee and the old, administra uh, and the old administration and you as a youth, you put your input or an ownership, you as a youth in this journey, so that you can fulfill your objectives. Let's not rush things and then by day we start counting our losses, like what was done with the national government. Let's take time. Kuna watu wasema wajawusishwa, okay. Well, you might have a different view. There are people who are raising concerns about empowerment. How do we conduct our public participation and how genuine are we in public participation? At the moment, muko ingine muna vaj. Gumoja mliko hivi, njibu raka ukweli leo. Minda wapati ya ukweli. In fact, some of you have let us down because you are half this way and half that way. How you handle the appropriation bill and the county development plan was dismal. That has to be said. It has to be said. And we look up to some of you guys. We know you from uh, previously. We have trained some of you when you are assuming office, and we are utterly disappointed that this is what you have turned out to be eventually. What I would like to see you is this. In preparation for the people who are going to be MCO for 2017, let them understand what is to be at an MCA. Whenever we are engaging with county officials, 
we tend to, to, to see us in uh, some other perspectives. Sio mzuri. Kwa sababu gani nataka kusema hivi ni kwa sababu hata katika discussions nyingi hata tukifanya engagements zile za budget tumefanya zile mapendekezo zetu hazichukuliwi. Mimi napenda kufanya kazi nachukia kufanya kazi ambayo haionekani. Sasa hizi tunazungumza masuala mazuri, muhimu but ni kama tunajibizana. Wewe labda nataka kumengage Estengolo leo kwa kuwa umeona hapa. Lakini for the past one month umekuwa kimtandika sana. Hutampigia kura, amefanya hivi, amefanya vile. Nothing very constructive on how we can solve a problem. So unakuta na yeye pia ukiongea kule amja kutana mkasalimiana watakumuliza maswali anafikiria tu hata vile amengekushika na kutandiki. So that one kama binadamu pia inafanya nini? Inachangia. And that's why na sisi pia kama activist wacha nirudi upande huo sasa. Kama viongozi tusio wepesi sana kujibizana na viongozi katika hata mtukiwacha wale ambao wako chini na sisi kama viongozi tuwaite tuambie si vizuri kufanya vile because this government is for us all. Everything is supporting citizen participation. We know it's very key. Accessing to information, Mr. Speaker, you know it has been difficult. We have been coming to your office. We have been following. Any office in we don't come because we, we are coming to give you feedback of what good is happening. We are coming to beg for the information which we think should be available for every mwananchi. Kuna watu ambao hawataki nyinyi mwanasisi wananchi. Kwa hivyo ni katika hiyo 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 hilo hilo bungelenyo. Kuna watu wanaofanya kazi na governor ama wanafanya kazi na watu wengine wa kando. Sasa ni tuambie hao watu wenyewe kwa nini wafanya hivyo ili hali tuliyopiga sisi wenyewe kura tukawapeleka kule. Kwa nini wasifate venye sisi wananchi tunataka? Kuna baadhi ya watu ambao mliwachagua na hawapendi mambo ya public participation. That is the truth of the matter. Na hii msingoje mpaka dakika ya mwisho muende mfuate governor mmulize hii kitu mbona sababu governor yeye yuangojea tu kwa sent tu kitu ambao watu wamefanya nini wamepitisha wakinena wanapitisha yule ambao ulimchagua kwa ward level sidhani kama mimi sijasikia kwa social media mtu ameataka MCA on genuine grounds kwamba wewe hata public participation hutaki hii hujafanya mkutano wa leo umekuwa mzuri tumejaribu kuinteract na na waheshimiwa ambao wamekuja kidogo hapo tumejaribu kuelezea maoni yetu na tumeona at least kuna mwamko mzuri ambapo tukizidi kuinteract nao hivi basi naona hatua ambazo tutakuwa tunaelekea tutakuwa tuelekea mali kuzuri natokea likoni na nelimika na shukuru napata mambo mengi na ninajifunza mengi kwa sababu mayut wanajaribu ku wasikae sana barazani wakipiga gunzo ni lazima pia wajitume kila mtu anafikiria miaka mitano ama mtu yupinga kwa kwa yuajua labda miaka mitano atakafanya nini kila mtu amejisali line hata issues ile raise hapa wengi wanapinga au wanaunga mkono kwa kwa, kwa hiyo hiyo nenia miaka mitano hivyo ndio akili zetu zifojijenga which is wrong which is yes because i did not even come here me i'm not a politician and i'm not even we cannot generalize mm -hmm. that there is bad blood is just a misunderstanding of the previous disappointments you have from the the duty bearers or the people they expect to lead so there was that misunderstanding where people were feeling like we need now to react mm -hmm. and i think some of the questions which leaders thought like they were being attacked with are genuine questions vijana wachukue nafasi si ati wapewe amtapewa let me tell you you will never be given these positions go for those positions because like we have an economist there kwani nini an economist aweze kafanya kwa 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 serikali kwani lazima awe na mvi ndio muone anaweza fanya so i think i'm challenging you guys let us get out let us be proactive to issues not reactive musifanye mistake mukachukua tu youth just a youth kwa sababu ana sauti nzuri kwa sababu anapiga mekelele zaidi kwa nini na nini that is a mistake that is a mistake take a youth with substance Take a youth who understands issues, otherwise mutaliya tend.